5,895 pounds, super slide with private bunkhouse zinger coming in on trade here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And if I boiled this one down simply, if you just said, hey, what, how's that thing? What kind of shape is it? And I'd say it's fair. I'd put it a step above just okay. It's had a, uh, a front termination strip uh, failure above the bed historically. I don't believe that there's anything currently like leaking or problematic with it but it's had history to it. But then again, if I had a car that was this age, you'd probably have a ding on the bumper or something like that at some point too. But overall, there's nothing stopping it from going down the road and having a good time. If you're looking to get your family into something with a bunkhouse, or if you're just wanting to start with a budget-friendly first camper for some casual camping, maybe for a few years while the kids grow up and then swap into a big old like ultralight or you know uh, fifth wheel after, I think this would be a good launch pad for a lot of things. And I think one of the best ways to describe this it's a camper. It's not a glamper. It's not a fancy pants RV. It's just a camper. The idea here is you're probably going to spend most of your time outside. You got room if it's a rainy day. This actually gives you pretty good rainy day space. You've got good living space. You got good eating space. But short of that, go outside, get dirty, have some fun. That's what this one's all about right here. Inside, it's just simple, plain, it's bare essentials, but that's also why it's not extra heavy and not extra expensive. Now, you can see how we've got a, uh, a private bunk room back there, but what's nice is you got this kind of centralized linen pantry dresser. It could kind of flex to become whatever, holy crap, this has an old style telephone hookup. That is a blast from the past. I wonder if that uh, wasn't added after market. I can't imagine a camper of this tier echelon trim level whatever you want to say having a t uh, phone hookup that's wild makes me wonder if this maybe spent some time uh in a park or something like that um looking around in here again simple basic not flashy not fancy but effective i mean <laughs> it's a toilet a sink a shower it does what it needs to it looks like maybe at some point there might have been a failed plumbing fixture in here and what makes me think that is if you look at the flooring it's discolored a little bit, but that actually looks pretty consistent through the whole thing. So that may actually just be the print of the floor. I'm not sure. The other thing that made me wonder is you can see how it's been resealed all around that sink like maybe something had been replaced. Not exactly sure. Um, oh, tiniest. Oh, look at that little baby cold crack right there. That's just from super, super cold weather affecting the trailer over time. Back here. The uh, rear wall also maybe or uh, has had some sort of termination strip failure or potentially a baggage door because, again, you see the discoloration on the floor right there. It makes me think somehow a little bit of water got in here at some point. Although, again, I can't really locate anything that is a current issue. But, you know, remember, I've gone out of my way to tell you some things that are maybe scary. Most places aren't going to do that. You're going to hear, boy... This thing's cheap and she sure is light and you better come get it, folks. And don't get me wrong, those things are potentially true, but I will shoot you straight and if there's something that maybe is concerning, I will definitely tell you. Made before the age of flat screens, you see that really deep recessed TV uh, compartment there, but what's cool is you see how deep into that wall the TV compartment is recessed. There is a uh, matching bonus bedroom storage on the opposite side of that wall, which is something that you see a lot of RVs like Wildwoods and uh, do today. It's a really smart feature. It's one of those areas that maybe this one might have been a little bit ahead of its time. <laughs> Intentional or not, I don't know, but it works very nicely in here. It's a camp queen bedroom, but there is room for a true queen. There's plenty of room at the foot of the bed where you could put a longer mattress and still walk around it. I like the open side stands and the dual household outlets by the head make it very like phone charger, you know, uh, uh, CPAP machine friendly, all those things that I talk about all the time in today's RVs. Now, if you open these cabinets, one of the things that I noticed is you can see a little bit of a ripple on that ceiling panel, but the walls are solid. So what it makes me think is like maybe over winter when somebody uh, de-winterized the RV uh, one year, they went, oh crap, there's a little wavy spot right there. They resealed that front seam and my guess is that's probably all it was because it's the same thing on the other side in the other cabinet, but it's very localized. So whatever it was, they caught it very, very quickly. But it is there. You do uh, deserve to know about it. And again, if I see something, I'm going to say something. Now, what's interesting here is, once again, how they handled that bedroom to entertainment wall kind of exchange. Because you can see what it created is just a whole ton 
of extra bedroom storage. And let me actually open up this cabinet or closet right here so you can see what I'm talking about. This is nice. You basically have double the hanging storage in here because of this and just a whole slew of dresser space that a basic level camper like this typically just would not enjoy. There's little things like some very simple screwdriver jobs that could be done here, like the uh, the baggage door clips, the plastic clips that hold those baggage doors open. They look like they uh, have just kind of weathered over time. The little hook part that holds the baggage door, not, uh, not on all of the doors, although obviously this one over here doing the job for us. If you look above the bedroom too, you can see kind of the tip of that max air cover peeking out at us. I noticed here, which is really cool, that it looks like the hitching from the previous owner is intended to go with the sale of this RV so once again if you're going to be a first-time RV owner there's a couple hundred bucks worth of stuff that you're going to want and uh, regardless of you know where you buy or what you buy you're going to want uh, you know an anti leveling or no no <laughs> anti sway and leveling hitch there we go pro leveling <laughs> Um, to go with your trailer. Whew, shot myself in the foot pretty darn good there. Now there's no special underbelly enclosures or protections there. This is just a typical, you know, spring, summer, fall camper. We're gonna put it away after the kids go back to school kind of job. You see that big baggage door over here? As we wrap around the side, you'll see a giant compartment door, but that's actually a second full passer. This thing has just an absurd amount of cargo space. But real quick note, did you notice how the bunk windows and the slide side windows all open for, what, what, <laughs> they must have got a replacement slip cover for the spare tire at some point because I looked down and said Fleetwood. I'm like, dude, this ain't made by Fleetwood. It's made by Crossroads. And like, you look right here, it's like, zinger, Crossroads, Fleetwood, bam! And I, my brain just melted for a second, but I figured it out. <laughs> Obviously, we got this big cargo door over here, which you can lock and deadbolt and all that good stuff. But what's kind of nice, you know, you've got the bunk space inside like we saw. But this thing can uh, flip up and get out of the way. And then it leaves you this huge, almost like bike compartment potentially. And I mean, you've got, again, just a second absolutely massive pass through in this thing. Let's take a look at the tires real quick as we're flying by. They don't look bad. Oh, wow, they've been towed quite a bit. This thing has seen some road use because that's there's more rubber worn off those tires than I typically see on nearly anything. Usually, it seems like trailer tires uh, age out before they mileage out. And this is what, you know, if you're going to stay local, it's probably fine for a little bit. If you want to do some distance towing, you actually, this thing might be at the stage where it may consider some tires. Now, a lot of people wouldn't tell you stuff like that. A lot of people are going to tell you as little potentially scary stuff as possible so that you're more likely to buy this and then all those problems are your problem and not my problem but that's not the kind of dealership we are here at Halid RV we will shoot you straight we'll tell you the good the bad the ugly and everything in between that's what we do like that awning it could use a cleaning but it's not stopping you from camping you know uh, I'm presenting things that you know there's plenty of stuff on this we could like we could potentially replace those little baggage door catches sure but then I have to pay a tech to do stuff like that if there's little things that you can do for a little bit of like for for pennies instead of us spending dollars on it you know we have to compensate techs for their time that's a reasonable expectation we also like to try to offer a little something for every budget so yeah this thing there's a couple little nicks and bumps here and there but it's also not breaking the bank that's the idea behind it if that sounds good to you if that sounds fair give us a call if you would like us to go through and do all the little knick-knack patty wax we're more than happy to do so understand we have to pay our people for their time it's reasonable expectation you know you don't expect to go to a tire shop and have them uh you know swap all your tires for zero dollars naturally so i think that's fair that sounds good give us a call and we're reasonable people let's work it out let's get you camping we can figure it out man so take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone